by the gentleman from Merseyside, who packed his bags and set out for Portugal, not with a rosette, but with a notebook. I was the only manager of an English club that was there. None of them took the trouble to go there. I mean, they hadn't seen the Celtic, and I had, of course. Were they not aware that uh, a club like Celtic was playing as well as they were at that time? No, but I think they tend to look down upon them because they're small nations, you know. But, uh, I mean, Celtic's record, I mean, uh, before then and since then, of course, has been remarkable. And here comes he. Mitchell's and the two teams. The referee is the good pincher of West Germany. Celtic now on the right, led by Billy McNeil. Piki. He's a remarkable man. Yeah, but everything seems to be natural to him. He seems to do the right things at the right time. And whilst he can tear a strip up you and all, and people think he's maybe lost his head, within that, he hasn't. He knows what he's saying. Yeah. A real remarkable man, yeah. One of the most remarkable men that's ever been in the game. If he's good. Use, useful players. And he trains them the right way. And he gets them all to do what they can do, you know, well. If it gets them all to do well, the little things they can do, and it merges them all together. It's a form of socialism, you know, without the politics, of course. Jockstein is a man who's got the blood of Bruce in his veins, you know. That's, that's my opinion of him. I mean, he's, uh, he's unafraid of anything. Yeah. And this is what you've got to be. He's got courage. And if you've, if you've got ability, and you've got courage, and you've got know-how, then that's the recipe. But now I was in the dressing room after the game, because I remember Jock, it was, I think he'd just come out of the bath, he was sweating as much as the players, and he was Hugh McLevenny, and I said, Jock, you're immortal now.